Всем привет и добро пожаловать на мой канал. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's lesson we're gonna have a closer look at how to introduce yourself and how to greet in Russian language. Поехали! First we're gonna have a look at how to greet someone and how to introduce yourself when you are in an informal situation. Let's practice. Привет! Меня зовут Лена. А тебя как зовут? Привет! Меня зовут Лена. А тебя как зовут? Меня зовут Клара. Меня зовут Клара. Очень приятно. Мне тоже очень приятно. Мне тоже очень приятно. Now let's have a look how to greet someone if you find yourself in a formal situation. So instead of привет, you would say здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. And when you're introducing yourself, you would use your full or official form of your name with your patronym. Меня зовут Елена Сергеевна. Меня зовут Елена Сергеевна. А вас как зовут? А вас как зовут? If you want to ask someone what's the name, you would say А вас как зовут? So in formal or official situation, you would use the pronoun вы, which is an official or a polite version of you in Russian language. And remember, in a formal situation, always use a long version of the person's names and their patronym name. I know, what is a patronym name? So patronym name is very much particular to the Russian language and it's usually deriving not usually, it's always deriving from your father's name. Now remember that instead of saying Здравствуйте, which can sound a very long and hard word for you to pronounce, you could say Добрый день. So in the morning you would say Доброе утро. Доброе утро. In the afternoon you would say Добрый день. And in the evening you would say Добрый вечер. Vocabulary to remember if you find yourself in a formal situation and you want to come across as a polite person, you would need to know how to say hello in a formal way, which is Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. Also, you could say Доброе утро, which is Good morning. Доброе утро. Добрый день. Good afternoon. Добрый день. Good afternoon. И добрый вечер. Good evening. Добрый вечер. Good evening. When you're introducing yourself, you would say Меня зовут and a long version of your name with your patronymic name. Меня зовут Елена Сергеевна. When you're asking someone what's their name in a formal situation, you would ask Как вас зовут? Как вас зовут? So you're using the pronoun вы, which is a polite form of you in Russian language. Now let's have a look at the particularity of the Russian names. As I mentioned before, every Russian has, of course, their first name, their patronymic name, and the family name. So, patronymic name is the one that is deriving from your father's name. And the first name, that's interesting as well. So, in Russian language, you have official form of the name as well as an official or familiar, more commonly used form of the name. So, a shorter version usually of your name. Let's have a look at the most common ones. So official and unofficial names for men, and official and unofficial names for women. Alexander, unofficial Sasha. Alexei, unofficial form of it's Alosha. Boris, com commonly used among the friends and families, Boria. Vladimir, Vova. Evgeny, Zhenya. Ivan, Vanya, Mikhail, Misha. And for the female names, the most commonly used are Alexandra, which is the shorter version, is Sasha. Anastasia, the shorter one, is Nastya. Yekaterina, the most commonly used is Katya. Yelena, Lena. Maria, Masha. Svetlana, Sveta. And Tatiana, Anya. So you can see that official version of the name is usually a longer version of the name and then unofficial most commonly used 
version of the name is used among your friends and family is usually a shorter version of the name. Now let's have a look how to introduce yourself in a formal and in an informal situation using the correct form of the name. Now greeting in a formal situation as we said, you need to use the official form of the name, so the longer version of the name, and of course a patronymic name. So this is very important in Russian culture to use the patronymic name, as this way you are actually really expressing that you're polite. Now examples. Здравствуйте, Татьяна Егоровна. Татьяна Егоровна. Татьяна is official form of the name. The shorter one is Tanya, and Egorovna is a patronymic name. Now, a greeting in an informal situation is much shorter and much easier. So, unofficial form of the name, so the shorter version of the name, and that's it. So, you would say, Privet Tanya. Privet Tanya. You can see the difference, right? In official situation, you would use a longer form of the name and then a patronymic name as well. When it's unofficial or informal situation, you would only use a shorter version of the name. Здравствуйте! Меня зовут Екатерина, а это Светлана Смирнова. А вас как зовут? So, this is a formal situation, so we need to use official or long version of the name. Remember, Светлана Смирнова, a long version of the name and then a patronymic name. In informal situation, it's much easier. So, let's have a look at the informal situation. Привет! Меня зовут Саша. А тебя как зовут? Привет, меня зовут Саша. А тебя как зовут? This is informal situation, and you can see that we need to use unofficial or short version of the name Sasha, which is shorter actually for Alexander and Alexandra. On the question, how are you? If you ask this in Russian, you would hear Привет, как дела? Как дела? Или как поживаешь? Dela is more commonly used. This is only in informal situations that you would be asked this question. And now, of course, you can answer this question in different ways. Отлично, спасибо. I'm great, thank you. Отлично, спасибо. Хорошо, хорошо, спасибо. Good, thank you. Неплохо, спасибо. Неплохо, 